Hey ho out there YouTubers! A little bit of a road trip on a rainy day. This is the 26th of March 2024. And um, just coincidentally or whatever, rolling up the road here and as you can see, 60 mile an hour speed limit. And if you look right here, um, definitely, definitely doing a little bit better than that. So that means that's doing a little bit better than that. So, uh, anyway, yep. Yeah, all state employees uh, obey the speed limit laws and stuff. And as you can see, clearly not doing that. Anyway, got some things going on out there. We've got some stuff happening, like, uh, you know, we got a ship. From Singapore to run into the bridge there at the Francis Scott Keys Bridge this morning about 2 a.m. Just right before 2 a.m. this morning. They got uh, rescue crews and stuff like that that's uh, still right out there right now doing you know rescue operations and stuff. The radar shows they can see where the cars and stuff are. Uh, seven casualties. They pulled two out. Um, one was without injuries, didn't even want to go to the hospital or anything. It's like, nope, I'm good. But the other one is uh, in critical condition, and it was uh, it was to the point where they're in such bad shape that they're not even able to give any kind of like what happened or anything yet. So, but uh, we're we're praying for all the victims of that and we're talking about the ones that was just on the bridge and stuff happened to but the family members and stuff like that that's going to receive some you know basically the most tragical news you could have you know so anyway uh, a lot of things going on we, we actually have uh, old uh, Sean Combs or P. Daddy, or whatever his name is, that is, uh, I had heard that they captured him at the Miami airport, and pacing back and forth, I guess they pulled him off of a private plane, and apparently he was caught, I mean, that's, that was the word I got on one of my uh, sources, but then I have uh, some of you all out there that, that's writing me and telling me that he had touched down on some island somewhere, he's heading to some island, and uh, but different ones of you out there telling me that he's still at large. So, you know what? I'm really, really, really wondering what all is going on here like you guys are. You know, Hollywood is being exposed for all of their sickness and stuff like that. Now they're saying that all of the uh, the hip hop big guys, whatever, are all into the uh, uh, child thing, you know. And uh, let's hope and pray that uh, the Lord is uh, straightening this out. You know, we gotta have faith that he is that don't mean that you sit back and do nothing, though. I mean, uh, talk to people, you know, tell them about the Lord, because we we don't know when the end is coming. And only the Lord knows. And you know, the Bible says that this has to happen and that has to happen first, and everything. Well, again, I would go back and point out that you know, uh, Jesus said that. Not even he knew. Only, only his father knew when, uh, when time, you know, was at hand or would be at hand. So, yeah, that I, I leave it all up to God when it comes to that. I mean, I'm just trying to do what it is that He would ask us to do, which is to tell, you know, those that's lost out there about the Lord. And that there is somebody out there that genuinely does care about you. And first and foremost, that's Jesus. But I'm here to tell you right now that I 
I care about you. And everybody on here cares about each other and one another and those that's lost. We, we, can, we can do better, we have to do better, and we are doing better. You know, proof of that, if you look out in um, uh, greater Idaho, <laughs> which ain't greater Idaho yet, but it is to me for sure, but uh, you know they, they've got a huge movement out there and, and uh, try to, it's just unbelievable that the amount of people and stuff that's flocking out there uh, the whole towns all of the, the whole towns are coming out and uh, worshiping God and uh, having their uh, church services and stuff right out in the streets and stuff and if you watch uh, look up some of the videos and stuff of what's going on out there and that's our country you know that's America but these people that's coming over these invaders that haven't been told about uh, the Lord and they haven't been showed hey you know there's a better way you don't have to go take other people's stuff you you can genuinely work for that and you know I, I've been thinking now for a while you know we talk about this AI and everything's uh, digital and they're looking for self-driving cars and they're wanting flying cars that you push a button and they just picks you up from where you're at and delivers your hind end to wherever and spits you out you know I don't uh, you know I think maybe them Amish people, they might have something going on there. You know, just go back to horse and buggy days. How wonderful would it be to just slow down like that and have a horse that you actually knew and took care of and actually respected and, you know, was thankful to God for having transportation so you didn't have to walk on your little leggy boos there. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, you can walk so far in 24 hours, but that horse can walk even further. And then a lot of people said, yeah, but that car can take you even further. Well, that may be true, but, you know, I don't pet my cars. Sometimes I want to put a hammer through the windshield of them or something, but... <laughs> But that's because they're mechanical. I, I know horses, they break down also. They get, you know, stone bruised, you know, their hooves and stuff like that. You gotta shoe them, take care of them. But a car has to have tires put on it. Has to have spark plugs and everything else replaced. And if you're dealing with the electrical crap, oh yeah, uh, what about the computer shorting out on it? Then you gotta replace batteries, which is thousands of dollars. Uh, but you know, I, I I can't get my head around why that they are wanting to poison us with our food, you know. And let me tell you why that is. It's not our food. These are just people that have a stupid amount of money, and they see somebody making money off of something. I'm actually thinking about red gold, which is tomato, which is ketchup and uh, tomato paste and stuff like you make your you know uh, spaghetti with and stuff and ketchup kind of like that ketchup myself you know but i really would like to have real ketchup you know like uh, the canadians up there have you look at the ingredients that they have in their uh, ketchup that they buy and again just a few ingredients tomato being one of them but here in the great united states of uh last place america you know that that's where we've allowed ourselves to get to and I, i'm gonna tell you something that's not because of what we're buying what we're not paying it, it is because of what we're not paying attention to we're not paying attention to god first and foremost but you know when it comes to your food, you know, why should there have to be any more than just a few ingredients to make ketchup or something? But 
when you have somebody that's growing your food and they don't believe in God, all they believe in is that money, this is what you get. This is what we're getting. This is why we have what we have right now. Old uh, P. Diddy Combs there obviously does not know the Lord. You know? And you know, here's the real tragedy of the whole thing. I mean, when one individual is lost, I mean, that's that's tragedy. But, you know, he, how many people have has he influenced? And how many people looked up to him and still are because they still don't know and they won't they, there's some of them they won't hear it no matter if he says it out of his own mouth they'll still worship the ground that he walks on and stuff there's still people that will say no way no way and they're all still saying oh no that's a bunch of made up stuff but who's saying that you know and who do you trust and do you trust your source enough to actually get behind that source and dig into your source and see, uh, you know, if the source that you're listening to is corrupt or not? Yeah, it's a lot to think about, a lot to take in. I get kind of overwhelmed at all the... Once again, I call it garbage, but it's the evil sickness that's going on. We all just got to pray for one another. And uh, Lord willing, Lord willing, we can get our country back on, on track here. And you know what? thanks to so many other countries that's actually praying for us you know uh, speaking of that I, I'm thinking about Israel you know and what's going on over there and everything well I don't know about you all but I'm going to tell you for me all right here here's the way I see it I really really watch whenever I'm talking about Israel you know because if you read in our handbook to life everlasting you know it, it tells you that you know Israel is a special place and how could it not knowing that you know Jesus was that's his people and stuff so whenever I hear you know different people talking about you know the Jews and stuff like that and I've already said it before you know, because the Bible says that uh, even the Jews will be brought, snapped back into attention, you know. So we know that if they have to be set right, we know that obviously something's wrong with at least some of them, you know. So I wish I, I knew more about that in particular topic of the Bible and stuff like that but I'll, if I'm honest about it when it comes to the end of times and stuff you know when they talk about you know the 8th of April coming up with this uh, solar eclipse and everything and how meaningful that uh, it is anytime we have a solar eclipse you know because the Bible tells us and uh, Jesus I think even said to look to the stars for certain things to happen you know just like the the uh, star of David and stuff when Jesus was born there was a new star in the sky and that's what led the three wise men so we know that things happen and that the, that if we do look to the skies that you know things will be fulfilled and things will happen when things like that happen so but on the 8th of April when we have this eclipse that's supposed to be running over the United States you know there, there's people already saying you know it starts the tribulations and the end of times and so on and so forth I honestly don't go to bed worrying about that because it all belongs to him and what is this little tiny person right here going to do about it 
the only thing I can do is, is pray that uh, whenever we all go, and I mean this, I want us all to go. You know, these evil, evil, evil people, I hope that they find uh, salvation. I hope that they can connect with the Lord because, you know, the Bible talks about casting out demons and stuff. But, you know, it also speaks about a reprobate mind. And if you look up reprobate, that means predestined. That means predestined means that's where you're going to. There's no doubt about it. So if somebody's predestined for hell and they're in a reprobate mind, there is no saving them. Don't cast your pearl before the swine. Get away from them. You know. And I, I, I really, really don't mind saying that uh, there are so many Democrats that's predestined. I mean, Nancy Pelosi, you can just look at that evilness right there and know that I, I, I don't see her as a she. I see her as a shit, because she ain't a she, and she's definitely an it. You put them together, you got a shit, and she's definitely a shit, a, 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 a demon. So, stay away from uh, demons like that. You know, it says we're all as filthy rags in the sight of the Lord. So, what we have to do as good as we can do be as good as we can be and ask for forgiveness I, I, I don't just do it daily I do it all through the day but uh, yesterday was uh, National CP Awareness Day for cerebral palsy I appreciate all of you out there that uh, put in prayers for everybody that's but you know we pray for all those that, that has anything cancer or anything like that you know um, if we read the Bible it says that food be thy medicine well to me food comes from the word of God And when, you, when you're uh, blessing your food, you know, uh, there's a pretty interesting story that I had heard about uh, some rabbits that they was supposed to be given poison to, and they really believed that all three groups were receiving poison. And uh, the one group guy that was uh, taking care of that group of rabbits was talking really nice and telling you know uh, I, don't, I don't remember now if he was praying for the rabbits or not but he was speaking nice to them and telling them how wonderful they was and how precious they was and so on and so forth but at the end of the study that, that was the only group that didn't die and it turns out now see, and the reason why I'm telling this in particular story is because at the end of it, they found out that not only was they the poison not affecting them, but they wasn't even poisoned to begin with. I see a lot of, a lot of people out there that they will misunderstand. They will say, oh, well, they wasn't getting poisoned. But that's the miracle because they was supposed to. We look over. We look over what a true miracle is. So the guy that was taking it in there and handing them the poison, he 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 knew it was poison. He believed it was poison. But he also knew that he was going to talk nice and, and pray. And once again, I'm not for sure if he was praying for him or not. But he was being awfully nice to him and speaking kindly, you know. So. Well, anyway, I didn't intend for this to be this long of a video, but I can tell you, 
you know, our hearts go out to uh, the, the people there over the bridge there, Baltimore, Maryland, Francis uh, Scott Keys Bridge there, you know. Hopefully, I, I don't want them to find any more uh, casualties. I, I, I hope I hope that's done. I, I hope that's all they find. But if you haven't seen it, go check out or, you know, jump on there. There's all kinds of uh, news feeds and stuff about that now. And uh, let's pray that all this with the Diddy thing and all that, that everything, you know, just leads to one after another after another and more of these demons get caught and uh, they're brought to justice, you know. The bad part about that is all, everything that they've already done has already been done. You know, how many lives now are tore up and stuff. I've watched, uh, I don't know how many of uh, one of them that said that he was out there at, uh, in California at that Bohemian uh, Grove place and different ones. I mean, uh, Cat Williams was speaking about that uh, Joe Rogan had talked about it oh and uh, Kid Rock Kid Rock said that he was out there and actually got thrown out or whatever because he got in a fight and stuff you know but there's uh, uh, an influencer that said that he actually went to one of their big uh, rituals and stuff like that and he actually seen what was going on and the rooms and stuff like that that he went into. But that's pretty interesting. We, we might do a video about that or something. But anyway, for right now, uh, once again, I didn't intend for this to be as long, but I want to say thank you guys very much for all the subscribers out there. Uh, shout out to uh, uh, the boss, and, uh, everybody out there, uh, Dave, uh, Charlotte, Miss Kim, all of him's, uh, all of him's helping me grow this channel. I was so appreciated. We're uh, we're over 900. We're on our way to a thousand. I've got some uh, ideals, and uh, hopefully, Lord willing, I've got some fun things that I would really like to do when we start doing live events and things. So. Pray for me. Pray for the channel. I so appreciate it. God bless America. You and yours. Praying for you. Thanks for praying for us. Love you, Lord. Love you, boss. Peace out.